right, Hank? Keep these. In case the Border Patrol stops you. They won't, but in case. I'll let Baron in, Tom. What's that you've got, Baron? A bone? Yeah. Nice and tasty. There you are. You can have it. Have a good time. Well, Hank, what are you gonna carry in that wagon of yours? Gunpowder. Gunpowder. So you're gonna tell the Border Patrol you're carrying gunpowder? Well, no, but... Oh, I get you. Groceries. Cases of food. You're supposed to forget about gunpowder until you get across the border. Now, Matthews. Maybe we'd better send some of the boys along with Hank. Something might go wrong. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Besides, it looks suspicious. Guarding a wagon load of food. Oh, Matthews! Well, the boys could stay out of sight unless there was trouble. Be kind of like insurance. Well, maybe you're right. Matthews! Want me, New Orleans? I've been yelling my head off. Where'd you get the feathers? Pillow fighting? Oh, no. No, uh, I was just fixing some chicken for dinner. Fine. I like chicken. Bring us a drink. Oh, uh, and feed Baron. Uh, he hasn't had a thing to eat all day except that bone. Have you, boy? Uh, Let's you feed him, New Orleans. He doesn't like me in the... You heard me. Feed him. And no chicken. The bones might stick in his throat. All right. <laughs> Bad dog bit him once, years ago. Made him limp like that. You know, I like to make him feed Baron. He's so scared of dogs. Keeps them on the alert. Well, I might have gone fishing. Got to thinking it over. That road to the river. It's a mighty long way. It must be the season. So rabbit no reason. Just taking it easy, it's my lazy day. Now, don't never mind calling, for I ain't a coming. Just get you on by and stay out of my way. Just a little deep thinking would drive me to drinking. Just taking it easy. It's my lazy day. I ain't asking no questions. Ain't giving advices. Ain't dating no women. Ain't wanting to play. Just a gonna look stupid. Don't want to meet Cupid. Just taking it easy. It's my lazy day. Abigail? Drug Millhouse, don't ever speak to me again. That's a powerful step. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Sunset. You really look tuckered out. Hey, don't bother about the horse. I'll take care of him. Go get yourself some rest. Thanks, Frog. I can use it. I'll bet you can. Anybody ride as many patrols as you have is bound to be saddle worried. Anything happen? No. We ain't even heard from Washington. How do they expect us to check all these patrols without any men? If we don't get some help soon, I'm a really going to get some action. I'm going to write to my congressman. I'm going to write to the president. Seventeen's I writing, too. Better see what he's got to say. Oh, there, little fella. I 
I bet you're glad to get home. Wagon load of gunpowder crossing the border through Red Flats today. Agent 17. Red Flats? Today? We ain't got no men up there. We will have, two of us, you and I. Uh-oh, here we go again. We got a hurry. We're always in a hurry. Check up. See your manifest. Well, it makes no difference to me. There's nothing but a load of groceries. Take it easy. They haven't found anything yet. What are you crying about? <laughs> Onions. <laughs> Dry your tears, baby. You got a lot of stuff to open. Sunset, keep him covered. This is gunpowder. Well, you're crazy. That ain't gunpowder. Looks like gunpowder. Tastes like... <laughs> Pepper! <laughs> Of this foolishness. I'm due across the border with this load of groceries and I'm gonna start. Sorry, fella. We gotta check every box on this wagon. Go ahead, Frog. Oh, no, you don't. Get down off of this wagon. Bad frog? No, but sunset, there must be an easier way than this. Uh, I think you'll like this, Sherry, Mr. Uh, I, I didn't get your name, sir. I didn't give it. Oh, ex excuse me. That'll be all, Matthews. No, thanks.
mighty careful man, Mr. Fontaine. You might call it that. I prefer the word sensible. I trust no one and confide only in those I must. To get down to business, New Orleans, can you smuggle a half million dollars in gold across the Texas border? To get down to business, Mr. Fontaine, I can. Good. Can you make delivery before election? Easily, Mr. Fontaine. <coughs> quiet, Baron, quiet. Half a million dollars in gold will buy a lot of votes. I'm curious, which of the many factions in Texas do you represent? Your sherry is very good. Excellent. Despite your sensible attitude, you'll find that my men can be trusted. All of them. Baron! Keep him quiet or put him out. Something's bothering you. What's the matter, Baron? There's no one here. You've remarkable ears, Baron. Thanks for the warning, but Hank's our pal. Now run along. Maybe you can find a bone. Have any trouble, Hank? Trouble? We lost the whole works. That Border Patrol was wise, New Orleans. Somebody tipped them off. All of your men can be trusted. All of them. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, fellas. Are you going to answer me or do I have to throw you out of here? Everywhere I look, I'm a seeing soldiers. Tell me why. Just tell me why. See a lieutenant inside. In Sunset's office? See him. I'll throw him out of there. Everything satisfactory, lieutenant? Seems to be, sergeant. Now I want. Say, what's all them soldiers doing around here? Are the men's quarters adequate? Yes, sir. Maybe you didn't hear me. As you were saying, sir? I want to send a message. Yes, sir. I'm going to give you just one chance, and then I'm going to throw both of you out of here. What I want to know is... Now, look, I don't like to pick on a guy that... Oh, ah, that hurts! Oh, maybe I was a little hasty, mister, but I'll listen to reason. What's going on here? Hello, Sunset. How are you? Hello, Vic. How are you, Vic? Nice to see you again. Say, what's the trouble? That's Prog Millhouse, my right-hand man. You've been trying to patrol the border with material like that? Release him, Sergeant. Yes, sir. What do you mean, material like that? I ain't no tin soldier, but you listen, Hold mister. it, Frog. There's no way to talk to my brother. Your brother? Well, why ain't you said so? Hi, how have you been? How are you? Sorry we weren't here to welcome you, but someone was trying to sneak a load of gunpowder into Texas. Yeah, we chased him clean across the border, but we got him. Across the border? As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons I'm here. Say, what's this all about? It's really simple, Sunset. You requested more men, and here we are. Only wanted a few men to increase my patrol. I don't know how to handle you soldiers. Handle us? That isn't exactly the case. Sam Houston's been working desperately to bring Texas into the United States. You know that. And every time you cross the border, as you did today, a few more Texans turn against Houston's entire plan. You mean we've been chopped? Fired, tossed out on our ear? Is that what you're trying to say? I didn't say that. Here are your orders, Sunset. You'll be working with, but under me. Is that clear? Clear enough. I'll say it's clear. Sunset's been working like a horse, driving them in night and day for what? So you and your pretty uniforms can take over and tell him what to do. Well, you're not getting away with it, understand? We're a quitting, see? We're a quitting. And what's more, I'm going to write the newspapers back east. I'm going to write my congressman. I'm going to write the United President of the... I'm... You're going outside to cool off. Excuse us, Vic. Frog's tired and pretty excited. That man needs discipline. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. I want you to send a message to Agent, uh, Agent, uh, 17. Tell him I'm in command here, and I want to meet him tomorrow noon in Squaw Valley.
it's absolutely impossible for anyone to reach the Border Patrol in time. Impossible? That word means something that couldn't happen. This has happened, New Orleans. Our deal is off. Mr. Fontaine, give me a chance to... That's bad. Let him in, Tom. I'll find the spy, and when I do... Uh... What have you got there, Baron? A bird? Well, that's a carrier pigeon. Didn't know anyone around here handled him. So that's how the Border Patrol found out, huh? A carrier pigeon. What's it say? This is to inform you that a cavalry troop under my command now augmenting Border Patrol in this area. We'd like to meet you in Squaw Valley tomorrow noon. Also, check any information regarding gold smuggling. Lieutenant Victor Carson. Any idea which of your trusted men he could be? No, but I'll soon find out. Wait here, Mr. Fontaine. I'll have an answer for you. A very satisfactory answer. It had better be. Baron, take this back where you got it. Why don't you give it to him, Baron? Drop it, Baron. You see, Hank, you've got to know how to handle dogs and men. Too bad you won't be here to learn. I'd hate to be in his shoes. You'd have to be crippled to wear them. Wait a minute. Maybe I wouldn't. What are you talking about? A dead man's shoes. A dead man's shoes. Here he comes. Now, make it look good. Where'd they get you? They didn't. I just fell off my horse. This shoe wasn't made for hard riding. Oh, you're Lieutenant, uh... Lieutenant Carson. Don't worry. And you're, uh, Agent 17. Oh, it's lucky you found this. It isn't for public display. It's a good thing you headed those men off, too. They'd have found out who I am. Well, tell me, what about the gold? Uh, did you learn anything? I'll have a report for you in a day or two. You're going to be invaluable to me, Mr. Uh, now, what is your name? I can't call you 17. Well, uh, Matthews will do. 
But understand, Lieutenant, my identity must be a secret between us. Of course, Mr. Matthews. Let's quit this job. We ain't doing ourselves or anybody any good. Oh, thanks, Abigail. Oh, you're very welcome. I don't use cream and sugar. I got a hunch we'll do someone some good. Dick will get into trouble the way he's headed. Thanks. Well, it serves him right. Patrolling the border ain't running an army post. The quicker Vic finds it out, the better. Hey, what's he hanging around here for? Oh, he's a sentry. Supposed to be there. That's the most ridiculous thing ever I've seen. Now look, he's turning around and coming back. Hmm. Now I'll leave it to you. What good is he doing stomping back and forth there like a wolf in a cage? There's Vic. Looks like he's got a prisoner. Uh-uh. Can't be. It'll take more of him to catch one prisoner. Put that down. That's not for you. Darling, you're beautiful. Prisoner? Prisoner? Far from it. This is Mr. Matthews, my civilian aide. Oh. Now, if you'll excuse us, I have to show him his quarters. Well, so now he's got a civilian aide. He couldn't have used you. That would have been too practical. Hey, what's going on? Sergeant Jenkins. Yes, sir. This must be what I've been telling you about, Lieutenant. Well, wouldn't it be better if we were to talk this thing over alone? Of course. Come on, Fro. Yeah, we can take a hint. Well, I, uh... Oh, go ahead. You can talk to the Lieutenant. I'm working with him. I just rode in from Buffalo Flats. They're running gold into Texas, all right. When? Today, over the post road. You're sure? Sure. Good. One of the best men I've got. Very reliable. That gold will be heavily guarded. I'm taking the whole troop. Good idea. Play it safe. Sunset, are you going to let him treat you this way? Are you going to be treated like an orphan? Are you quitting? Are you eight or if I am? Or I'm quitting. Now, it's all right for you to be your brother's keeper, but you're carrying this thing too far. Well, that brother of yours, he's... Bill. Sergeant, call out the troop. We're riding. Yes, sir. What's up? Just got a report they're going to try to smuggle that gold through. Would you like to come along? Sure. My boys will help you cover the roads. Thanks, but they won't need to. It'll be the post road, all right. How you know? Just got a message from Buffalo Flats. It'd be safe to cover every cow path anyway. Suppose your report's wrong. Suppose they don't use the post road. They will. Sunset, one of the first rules in military strategy is don't split your forces. That brother of yours is the cockiest bird this side of a rooster. Yeah. Fro, Vic would be in an awful lot of trouble if they should smuggle the gold through on some other road. It'd serve him right. He's got that coming to him. Well, maybe. But I'd feel like an awful heel, if anything. Well, anyway, I'm going. Sorry you can't go alone. You're quitting. Well, I ain't quit yet, but, but I'm going to. <laughs> you fellas. Get out and push so we can get over this hill. What? Man in my position? Oh, come on. Get out of here.
Someone's coming. Don't do anything to give us away. Here. Do you have to eat oats to do that? Hey, you're on the wrong end of the buggy. <laughs> What's the matter? What are we stopping for? Say, that isn't much of a hill. What do you suppose the stage is having so much trouble? Oh, what difference does it make? Probably the horses are wearing lead shoes. <laughs> lead. What's heavier than lead? Me. I'm worth my weight in gold. <laughs> gold? What am I saying? You don't think? We're going to find out. Yeah! Come on! Boy, that was close. Thought we never would reach the top of this hill. Get your rifles, boys. We're in trouble. Take a look, Frog. Yeah, there's gold in these here hills. Yeah. We have miners to dig it out. They can't go like this. No. And neither will his friend Matthew. I tell you, New Orleans, the stage had turned over before I got there. I couldn't do nothing. Get out. Well, I hope you don't get out. You're going back to that patrol post, New Orleans, and get that gold out. That'd be sure suicide. I'd be hanged as a spy. Hanged? That's better than what I had in mind for you. Here's what you do. Take Tom with you. Tommy? We can't use him again. Lieutenant Carson saw him. Lieutenant Carson saw him, eh? Then we can use Tom again. Indeed we can. Let me see. You take Tom's body with His you. His body? He's just a kid. Killing him seems unpleasant, doesn't it? Yet the world is full of unpleasantries. It's up to you to choose, New Orleans. It's your life or Tom's. And you could see that he died quickly, without pain. Whereas, if I have to kill you, it might hurt a little. Shall I call him in? Shall I call him in? Good. That's good. I like a man who can make up his mind. Oh, Tom. Yeah? Want to see me? New Orleans does. It'll only take a minute. Be right in. One bullet, properly aimed, ought to do it, don't you think? This gun is fully loaded and will be in my pocket, but so will my hand, you understand? Hello, Tom. 
Well, Mr. Fontaine, do you want to see me in New Orleans? Yes, uh... Oh, uh... Have a drink. Thanks. Hey, this is good. Did you two figure out a way to get the gold back? New Orleans did, but he'll have to have your help. You can count on me. I always have. You look worried. Something the matter? Oh, uh, nothing at all. Have a cigar. Thanks. Say, what happened to you men? Or is a little cooperation too much to ask for? A little co-op? Don't tell me your soldiers are still blocking the post road. Blocking it? We've got it sewed up tighter than a shroud. No thanks to you and Sunset. Vic, you got a joke coming to you. Show him, Sunset. Why, that? Why, that's the goal. Taint butter, Uncle Vic, taint butter. But how? Where? Very simple. They must have detoured off the post road. God, I made a fool of myself, didn't I? It's not your fault. Your information was incomplete. Where's your friend Matthews? Matthews. Wait till I see him. Oh, no. That's one fellow you ain't never gonna see again. Oh, yes, you will. You're under arrest. I deserve to be, and I expect it. All I can say is that one of my best men sold me out. You can prove that. Yes. I can prove it. He'll never double-cross me or anybody else again. I turned his body over to your sergeant. Figured out what he was doing, and I took instant action. You took action, all right. Lieutenant, may I see you alone? Surely. We'll go in here. Something's come up, and... May I see you alone, Lieutenant? I'd like to see that Matthews alone. Just once. I know how you feel about wanting to arrest me just now, but it'll be a mistake, a bad mistake. You seem sure of that. I am. How would you like to nab the entire gang all at once? You know the answer. What makes you think I can? The man whose body you just saw. I trailed him to where the entire gang is hiding out. Can you take us there now? Well, no. Uh, it'd be wiser for me to go alone. As soon as I've got all the details, I'll send word to you. Oh, I know I made a mistake. In my profession, a mistake is inexcusable. But I would appreciate this chance, Lieutenant. All right, Matthews. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Where's he going? They ought to arrest him no matter how many dead men he's brung in. It's about time I had a talk with my brother. Vic, we're gonna have to ask you for a little more cooperation. Or do you still believe we don't deserve it? After you brought in the gold? I'd be an ungrateful fool if I didn't admit you saved my career. What do you know about this guy, Matthews? Who is he? Why do you trust him? And where's he going now? Sorry, I can't tell you. That's just what we mean. Hold it, Frog. Before you came, we worked with Agent 17. We never saw him, but his reports were completely trustworthy. And you, you ignore him and counting on this feller Matthews. And we want to know why. I can't answer you. You'll we'll have to resign. Resign, fool. We're quitting. I understand your position, Sunset. But I still can't explain mine. No hard feelings, Vic. We're leaving town in the morning. So long. Goodbye. You sure these are the pigeons that fly to 17? You betcha. These are the babies. Good. 
Let him go. You wouldn't mind telling me what we're doing, would you? Finding out what happened to 17. Come on. Well, it's out of sight. What do we do now? Let another pigeon go. Watch him till he flies out of sight, then ride to that spot and let another bird go. I get it. Each pigeon takes us closer to age than 17. Is that it? That's it. Let's get moving. The next thing we do is toss up another bird. Is that right? That's right. We're the head of the class. <laughs> fly away, birdie. Fly away home. Your house is on fire. Unhand me, wolf. Oh, look at that face. Got across. He's heading for the border. He's heading for the border. Oh, give me a home. Oh, give me a home. Ah. Must be the navigator. You're a stowaway. <laughs> Short day, wasn't it? <laughs> Whew, a nasty temper, hasn't he? All the groundwork I've done, we can't miss. Don't worry. Lieutenant Carson will send his troop out on the double. He's that anxious to round us up. Wish I could be there to see him leave. Where did you tell him to send them? To the farthest place I could think of. Sandbar Canyon. It's a good idea, New Orleans. But I repeat, it better work. Pigeon just came in, sir. Good. Entire gang leaving for Sandbar Canyon. Intending to cross border tonight. Excellent opportunity to trap them all. Agent 17. Are the men ready? Champing at the bit, if I may say so, sir. You may, Sergeant. There might be a promotion in store for you when you get back. Thank you, sir. I guess I'd better be leaving. Troop should be gone by now. Here you are, Baron. Yeah. Chew on this slag it back. Wish me luck. We're not depending on luck. Remember that. the smart ones. Or maybe it's you. We still haven't found a hideout. There's a ranch house up there. But maybe we'd better mind our own business, huh? Oh, come on. Smile at me, will you? Oh, <laughs> 
what I call a watchdog. We ain't gonna hurt you, doggy. Reach. Turn around, both of you. Slow. Border patrol, huh? You boys are a little late, aren't you? Up against the wall, both of you. Keep your hands up. You know, I never killed a man before. I've always had somebody to do it for me. Got to be a first time for everything, though, I guess. Uh, please, mister. I, I got me a special dislike for them little guns. You die so slow. Couldn't you shoot me with a big gun like this? Get your hands off that. have a lot to tell us, mister. Suppose you start right now. You're not gonna kill me, and I know it, because dead men can't talk. What's the matter, Frog? Don't you like dogs? Spoiling is fun. Already? What happened? You should see. Take a look. Everything's already gone. All right, Rowdy King. All right, you guys. Hurry up, you fellas. Not a soldier in sight and all that gold being moved. Hold it. We gotta use strategy. Strategy? You sound like your brother and look what it got him. Rogue, I got an idea.
Come on, fellas. Hey, the wagon's on fire. Get it to the watering trough. Get some water. Come on, you fellas. Give us a hand. Help us. Keep firing. Now's the time for you some of that strategy you've been talking about. See what I can do about it. Kill your brother? Shoot, Sunset. You win. All right, have it your way. Hank, bring the horses. We bump him off now and have it over with. It's gonna stop them from killing us. been as unnecessary around here as an old appendix. And when I go wrong, I really go all the way. I'll forget it, Vic. I'll forget it, all right. But not until things are put in their proper places. This, for instance. What's this doing in your office? There's something else out of place. You. Come on. <laughs> now, that's better. Well, almost, but not quite. More like it. Now you're working together. 
I think he's got something there. But tell me, how did you happen to find the gang's hideout? A little birdie told us. Bird told you? But how? Well, we tell you, but you don't understand pigeon English. <laughs> <laughs> so long, folks. That does it. <laughs> Put on the newsreel. <laughs>